Hey Freedom from Food community, let's talk about balance. These are nine things that you can consider in your life. And if you think about touching on them every single week, you will 100% create more balance in your life. And I know for me, as I put my hand up, I was a certainly a go big or go home person. And a lot of these different things I'd probably be paying too much attention to and not even considering some other ones. So let's go through them. The first one is alone time. Can you just be alone? Can you sit and do nothing, no TV, no reading, with nobody else and just be? Can you be alone with yourself? So important because what happens is you start to go, stop being outward and become more inward and ask yourself some deeper questions. So alone time, important every week. The next thing to consider is friends time. So connecting with people, connection, connection, connection with your friends. How much better do you feel when you've had a phone call, a coffee, a tea, a dinner with friends or family and really connected? The next one is family. So the third one would be to, you know, I know that some of us can't see family right now in the skin and in the flesh. Could you organize a phone call, a Zoom call, a Skype so that you can connect with family and not just immediate family, but aunts, uncles, cousins, nieces, nephews, grandparents, you name it. So get that in the diary and have a friend connection. Sorry, a family correction. The next one is career. So this is developing yourself. So it's talking about developing your skills. It would be, you know, increasing your information. So seminars, listening to podcasts, reading articles, reading blogs and developing yourself. So continual development in your career, including promotions and things as well. And then we talk about relationships. So this is your significant other and putting in date nights and feel free to put boundaries in. So no emailing, no looking at your phones um, when you're at the table. If you go out for dinner, you could go for a romantic walk. You could go for a nice meal. You could go and watch a show. Just incorporating relationship time, really important with nobody else around. And as I said, putting boundaries in place, super cool. The next one is playtime. Now your playtime may be doing something like a sport. It may be cooking. It may be going for a walk in nature. It may be painting. So it doesn't have to be doing something, but it's when you can connect to your free child and you feel like a kid again. So when is that? It could be with your friends when you're connecting, but playtime is super important to include. And I want you to think back to when you're two years old and what really excited you and just, you know, be that person. The next one is self-development. So this would be your own goals. So think about purpose, vision, and goals. Your purpose is your why you're on your earth. Your vision is what you want and your how is your goals is how you're going to get there. So it could be personal goals. It could be health goals. So you may want to have a mentor, a personal trainer, um, you know, somebody, functional medicine, nutritionist, naturopath, chiropractor, physio, someone you might want to improve your posture. You might want to learn language. So it's really just looking at your self goals and what you would like to achieve and sitting down and putting a map down. That's what I do with my clients. And then spiritual development. Now, spirituality is not religion to me. Brené Brown, who's a great thought leader, has come up with a great definition where she talks about us being inextricably connected through compassion and love and grounded in compassion and love. And we connect to something bigger than all of us. So for me, it's no matter what gender you are, what color you are, what race you are, when you go to bed at night, you're, you know, when you wake up in the morning, your hair's grown, your nails have grown, we connected to a bigger source of energy. Some people call it the universe. Some people call it God. Some people call it Allah. Some people call it, you know, you name it. For me, it's just about a bigger energy that we're connected to. So spiritual development, again, I would urge you to do more reading. People are quite gray in this area. It's, you know, it's times where you can pull yourself out of a situation and look at it from another vantage point and understand what it's teaching you, understand the lesson more than you know, the pain, it's what is the lesson. So that's spiritual development. And then the last one is children. So time with children, spending time with children. Now, what children do is that they obviously are always curious. They're always playing and they pull us into that. You know, their vibration is so, so pure. And so with children, 
they live in the now. They're not thinking about their next event, their next job, their next, you know, deadline to hand in. They're not thinking about how ugly or pretty or big or small or how much weight, or they're not thinking about their next meal. They're not thinking about their past meal. So it keeps us in the present, which is a really powerful place for us. So spending time with children is key. If you don't have children of your own, I would spend time with friends, children. I would certainly look for family members potentially that are younger and just absorb that energy and be in it. So alone time, friends, family, career, relationship, playtime, self-development, spiritual development, and children. Those are your nine life blocks to consider when you want more balance. Let me know what your favorite one is down below and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.